Hello dear brothers and sisters, I come on here today because I have a very, very urgent message that I need to get out as quick as I possibly can, as quick as I possibly can. First and foremost, I, I want to say this before I begin reading and before I, I begin uh, this message that I want to share with you. I've noticed on YouTube here lately that a lot of people are closing down their channels or saying that their job is finished on YouTube. Now, I have no doubt there are people out there that are genuinely hearing from the Lord. But I will tell you that Father God has impressed upon my heart today that there are some that are leaving when they shouldn't be leaving. There are some that need to remain on the post and be watchmen on the wall. And I'm very concerned that there's something going on. There's strange, there's strange fire here on YouTube and, and, and it's making the true watchmen of the Lord close their channels. The, the false prophets and the ones that, that, that are, are not doing the will of the Lord are staying, but the ones that, that are really impacting the world for Jesus Christ, I've noticed lately, are closing their channels or disappearing. And Father God above really broke my heart over that this morning, and I've just got a, a really bad feeling about this. And again, I, I, I have to stress, I'm not saying everybody is doing this, but I believe there are people that, that are just thrown in the towel and given up because things got tough and got hard on YouTube and the slamming and the and the persecuting just got too much for them to handle and they're just jumping off the post. Now, with that being said, I don't talk to everybody on the phone, but I do share uh, conversations with my brother Todd. Um, as you, maybe you all don't know, but he closed his channel, but I will assure you all, you guys of this, I saw for myself the confirmations and heard from him of why he closed the channel. He closed the channel because God told him he needed to spend more time with his family. So again, you know, I, I have to bring up my brother Todd, and I want you all to know that he is, the Lord is working a beautiful work in him right now. And I praise God for that. Will Todd ever be back? Who knows? He's just following God's will. So I can, I can honestly say that he left um, because God told him that his time was done on YouTube, okay? Now, with that being said, you know, yes, it's been very discouraging for me to see the things that's going on on YouTube, to see the, the backbiting and the slandering. It's been very heartbreaking for me. And again, not everybody is, is, uh, is in the wrong here. There are people that's following steps biblically, that are, are bringing about and warning the sheep about someone who may be damaging to their Christian walk. But listen, you all got to hear me on this. Th I don't like what I'm seeing right here. And again, for those of you that are following what Jesus Christ truly wants you to do, I pray for you. And I continue to pray for those who, who maybe are not doing the right thing. But my heart is breaking today, and I see something going on here, and I just don't feel good about it. So I'm going to open my big mouth, and I'm just going to just uh, share with you guys what I feel that the Lord wants me to share. And I'm going to do some reading here, and uh, we're going to start off in John chapter 21, verse 16. And it says, He said to them again a second time, Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to them, to him, Tend my sheep. See, if we love Jesus Christ and, and, and we really want to follow him, for those who are listening to our messages and being encouraged by our messages, we are to be there for them and help them every step of the way. Yes, it's not about us. And I must stress, listen, I tell everybody right now, what's important is follow Jesus. And I'm speaking even to myself. Don't follow me. Don't look at me. Follow Jesus. Get as close to Jesus as you possibly can because I'm telling you, right behind me is the eastern sky. And Jesus Christ is going to split those skies wide open. I promise you, the day is coming. But I'm telling you, we have got to stand our post. Those of, our, those of us we just that are watchmen, we have to be in prayer and stand our post. We've got to help people. We can't just just up and leave YouTube 
and leave people that need to know the gospel, that need to hear encouraging messages. We can't just leave them in the dark. We can't. But again, I want to stress, for those who are doing it for all the right reasons, and, and God has 100% with beyond a doubt told you to leave YouTube, then all praise to God. I pray for your ministry. I pray for whatever he has you doing off of YouTube. And I, and I want you all to know that I'm not saying this about everybody, but I'm just telling you, something's going on here, and I don't feel good about it. All right, let's go to Luke 15, chapter 15, verse 4. Luke 15, verse 4. And it reads, So he, oh, I'll start out in verse 3. So he spoke this parable to them, saying, What man of you having a hundred sheep, if he loses one of them, does not have the ninety-nine in the wilderness, does not leave the ninety-nine in the wilderness, and go after the one which is lost until he finds it? And when he has found it, he lays it on his shoulders, rejoicing. And when he comes home, he calls together his friends and neighbors, saying to them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep which was lost. And I say to you that likewise there will be no more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine just persons who need no repentance. Now listen to me about this. If you're not sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ... And if you're running away from it and you're and you're disappearing unjustifiably and you're just leaving because you're you've had enough of the backbiting and everything. Listen, let me tell you something. That's what the devil wants. Satan. Satan is on the prowl. He is out to steal, kill, and destroy. And do you think for a second that Satan doesn't absolutely hate our guts? He hates our guts. Now I'm gonna tell you something, folks, and I'm gonna be totally transparent with you. I myself, I am tired of YouTube. I am tired of all the stuff that goes on around here. Believe me, I've been doing this since 2011, and I am extremely tired. And, and, and there have been thoughts go through my head that, oh, I just want to close everything down and just go back to the way things used to be before I had my YouTube ministry, you know, uh, maybe take my keyboards up on stage somewhere, start pra singing with the praise team, practicing with them, doing what I used to do before I came to YouTube. But I'm just telling you, you better make sure that you're doing what God wants you to do, not because you're aggravated and disgusted of what's going on on YouTube. Don't do it because of that. We got to not think about ourselves. We got to think about those that need to know Jesus as their personal Savior. We can't just run from this church. We can't. This is so crucial. I, I pray that as many as possible see this video. I pray because my heart is breaking over what I see going on here. True. Watching on the wall, just hanging it up and leaving. Listen to me, church. This is so vital. We must be in prayer. The enemy is out to destroy us. And just the very fact that he is doing this is proof enough that our time here is just about over. Yes, Jesus Christ could part them clouds any moment. Nothing would make me happier than for me to look in this camera and see behind me the Lord coming back in those skies. And I tell you, every morning I look at those eastern skies and I'm just waiting excitingly and patiently for our Father to come. But let me tell you something, by the grace and power of Jesus Christ himself, I will stand on this wall and I will remain, I will remain as long as the Lord wants me to remain. And I'm not going to let circumstance and things around me get in the way and discourage me and make me leave. Because you know what? Greater is he that's in me than him that's in the world. I want to read Matthew 18, 12. Let's go to Matthew 18, 12. Matthew 18, 12. Bear with me just a second here. It's a little windy out here. I don't have the technology to put these scriptures up on the, on the camera, on the, on the video, so I got to do it the old-fashioned way. Matthew 18, 12 reads, we'll start off on verse 11. For the Son of Man has come to save, to save, listen to that word, to save, which was lost. What do you think if a man has a hundred sheep and one of them goes astray, does he not leave the ninety-nine and go to the mountains to seek the one that is straying? 
And if he should find it, or surely I say to you, he rejoices more over that sheep than over the ninety-nine that he, that did not go astray. Even so, it is not the it's not the will of your Father who is in heaven that one of these little ones should perish. It's not the will of God. Listen, one of the last things I've ever wanted to be in my life is a pastor because it scares the fire out of me. Because there's so much responsibility to title yourself as a pastor. But you know what? If you've got a YouTube ministry and you're making videos and you're out there sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ to a lost and fallen world or you're sharing other things that come from the Lord, you know, maybe a, a wonderful dream that, that God gave you or something. Face it, those that are watching your videos, in a sense, you're, 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 a, you're shepherding that flock. So listen to me. This is so important. We must be in prayer. We can't give up our post in this late hour. We can't give up. We got to remain strong and faithful for he is coming back soon. And we can't give up, church. We got to think about those that still need to hear the gospel. Let's just go before the Lord right now. Father God, Lord Jesus, I come to you and I pray for my brothers and sisters on YouTube. Father God, I just lift them up to you right now and I pray, Father God, that, that you would just take away all confusion, any kind of doubt, Father God. I pray that, that, that the true watchman would, 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 would really be in prayer over leaving this ministry, Father God. Lord Jesus, I pray that they would make the right choices, the right decisions, Father God. I'm not here today to cast doubt upon what they're saying. But Father God, I pray that they make the right choices. It's a late in the hour and we know you're coming back soon. And there's so many that need to know you as their personal Savior. Lord Jesus, grab a hold of this 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 YouTube and, and Father God, I pray that whatever's going on that's 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 from the enemy, I bind it right now in your name, Lord Jesus. I bind it. Father God, we give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. Just prepare our hearts for your glorious coming. We love you, Jesus. Amen. All right, I pray this video blesses all of you who watched it. I try to keep it as long as short as I can. This is urgent. Be in prayer. Come on, watchman. Come on. Come on. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. If God really hasn't called you, stay on that post. Amen? God bless you all. In Jesus Christ, most holy name, amen.